So last night, we had an epic, epic, epic victory over Robin D'Angelo when LinkedIn decided to retire her course from the platform. Newsweek actually very accurately covered the story. I have to admit, I talked to this Newsweek reporter last night and he was asking to talk to some of my whistleblowers and I said, well, maybe I might ask them depending on how accurately you write this story. And he kind of laughed and said, I've been a journalist for 20 years. And I said, that's what I'm afraid of. But he actually did a really good job. So I will link his story in the description below. Yay, Paul Bond, Paul Bond. We salute you. We like good journalists, Paul. All right. After a whistleblower complained that Coca-Cola was asking its employees to engage in diversity training offered by LinkedIn Learning that encouraged them to try to be less white, the social media firm has removed the program. The confronting racism course featuring Robin D'Angelo is no longer available in our course library at the request of the third party content provider we licensed the content from LinkedIn Vice President of Corporate Communications, Nicole, told Newsweek in an email on Monday. We provide a wide variety of learning content, including more than 270 courses on the topics of diversity, inclusion, and belonging. We will continue to add new courses to help people learn the skills they need to be more successful in their careers, including the foundational skills we all need to be effective allies and help build a more equitable future. Well, I have some questions. I have a couple questions for LinkedIn. Number one, who was the third party content provider that told you to remove the course? Number two, do you have any other courses on your platform currently that are provided by that third party content provider? Number three, do you have any plans for Robin D'Angelo to return to your platform? Because as Jack Posobiec actually reported last night, not only did they remove this course, Robin D'Angelo has got no other courses on the platform right now, and I don't know if this was her only course on the platform or if others were removed as well, but if you search for courses by her right now, there are zero, zero music to my ears, but I do worry that LinkedIn plans to bring her back in the future. Anywho, that's kind of neither here nor there. I really do hope a real live journalist is going to demand answers from LinkedIn. And I want to say this, listen, I think that the reason that this happened is is that Tucker Carlson covered the story in the right way. I had been screaming that LinkedIn was the problem for about four straight days. I actually started talking about it on Friday. I got more adamant on Saturday. I got even more adamant on Sunday. And yesterday, I was about to quit and walk away from this whole thing because it seemed impossible to convince people that LinkedIn was the problem, not Coca-Cola. And then Tucker Carlson on his show last night covered the story pointing the finger directly at LinkedIn and Robin D'Angelo, and here we are. So thank you, Tucker Carlson, for actually doing the right thing, and I do hope that other journalists are going to stand up and start asking LinkedIn some tough questions here. Because guys, again, I'm not a journalist, I don't want to be a journalist, but I will, I will execute acts of journalism from time to time when other journalists are not doing their flipping job. However, that's not really the topic of this video. This is just this is just finery and it's continuing to celebrate from last night. But the topic of this video I want to talk about is the fact that LinkedIn is not the only company doing stuff like this. Coca-Cola is not the only company doing stuff like this. And we need to start calling this nonsense out everywhere that we see it. It is it is in your towns, it is in your local governments, it is in your schools, it is everywhere, everywhere. Listen. I have been getting a lot of emails over the past four days. I've set up a couple email addresses where people can send me documentation of this happening in organizations you're affiliated with. It's activelyunwoke at gmail.com and activelyunwoke at protonmail.com. I set up the second one because you guys were all bugging me to get on ProtonMail, so you can send it to either. I don't really care. The email addresses, I will link them in the description below. If you have documents from your company, whether it's a big, big company or just a little tiny, tiny organization in your town, I'm taking all documents because we need to start fighting back on every single level and every single place that this, this nonsense is integrated to is important. It is important. And today I want to highlight 
a particularly perturbing set of emails that I got from the Omaha Public Power District. The, it's much less sexy than Coca-Cola and LinkedIn, I understand, but you're going to you're going to see in a second why I'm showing you these emails. But this is a public utility. Omaha Public Power District or OPPD is a public electric utility in the state of Nebraska. It is a publicly owned electric utility in the United States serving more than 800,000 5,500 people in Omaha and 13 surrounding cities in southeast Nebraska. And I want to show you what they're doing because this is nuts. OPP leaders, we are cordially, you are cordially invited to participate in an upcoming white men as full diversity partners lab. White men as full diversity partners. Okay. It will be done virtually via Zoom. You need to have a laptop with a camera and a quiet room where there are very few interruptions. To date, 81 other OPPD leaders have participated in the lab about white men becoming full diversity pro partners. Now, there's nothing wrong with with doing courses for people to help them help them better communicate with their colleagues, work better with their colleagues, but I suspect what's going to happen in these courses is that the 81 men who have already participated in this course and anyone that signs up in the future are going to have to, on some level, apologize for being both white and male. Call it a hunch. I'm just saying, let's see what the course description is. The virtual White Men as Full Diversity Partners Lab creates an environment where white men can reflect on what it means to be white and male and can openly explore their questions, confusions, hopes, and concerns related to inclusion and diversity issues while shifting mindsets and practical, critical leadership skills. The lab helps leaders explore how racism, sexism, heterosexism, and classism operate as systemic advantage slash privilege in work, community, and personal life understand what it means to be white, male, and heterosexual at work and in their personal lives. I'm sorry, why are we training people, white men who work at the power company, to understand what it means to be white, male, and heterosexual at work? Literally none of those factors should be part of the performance review especially in a place like the power company. I'm sorry to have the white men at the power company sitting down to analyze what it means to be white, male, and heterosexual. Have you lost your nut? How is this going to increase their performance at all? The answer is that it's not. And I went and got a PhD in organizational psychology just to make sure. Examine U.S. white male culture and its impact on all people, white men, women, and men of color and white women. Recognize and or discover their self-interest in diversity and in co-creating inclusive and diverse organizations that they and other white men are a part of. Leave ready to take specific personnel and professional action to be a full diversity partner. Practice eight critical leadership skills to challenge and support other white men on diversity and inclusion issues. This is the power company, which means like the money that you're paying to he listen, I went to Omaha right before the election. It was cold as heck. Like the money that you're paying to the power company to heat your home is now going to a program to train at least 81 people on how to be better white male heterosexuals at work. This is what we're dealing with, folks. This is ridiculous. It is a ridiculous waste of money. There is no evidence that this training actually makes organizations more diverse, more inclusive, provides everyone more access to opportunity. I, I, I feel like I say this every single time I talk about this topic, but there are very real 
challenges with race in this country that we still have yet to deal with. There really, really are. This is not the answer. Stuff like this is not going to reduce racism. You cannot fight racism with more racism. You cannot fight sexism with more sexism. It's not the way it works. If you want to make less racism and less sexism, you have to stop creating opportunities like this that only create more racism and a more sexism. These should be issues that we should be able to discuss and have reasonable conversations over. But now we're at a point where I literally have to do whistleblower documentation every single day because people are so afraid to speak out when this nonsense shows up in their life. So many people know that it's wrong. If, if the people who thought that this stuff was wrong just stood up and spoke out collectively all at the same time, this would be over in an instant. But people are afraid because they know it will cost them their job. So, to the, to the white men at the Omaha, what is it, what is it, hey god, the Omaha Power Company, I'm sorry... But this is nuts. I strongly encourage you not to sign up for the White Men is Full Diversity Partners Lab unless you absolutely have to. And if you do have to sign up for it, send me the slides. Send me the slides. Please send me the slides. I want to see the slides. Activelyunwoke at gmail.com. Activelyunwoke at protonmail.com. As you can see here, I will always protect your identity. I will not reveal who you are because this is the only way we're actually going to solve this problem. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, I do content almost every single day around a variety of topics, news, politics, culture. But right now I'm really honing in on this woke training nonsense and trying to get it out of as many organizations as possible because it's completely detrimental. If you want to help me out, the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, feed that algorithm, share it out to your friends and family who don't believe how bad this stuff is. You can also join me on locals, kb.locals.com, where you get all of my videos ad-free. And if you want to support my work financially, I do have information in the description below. But honestly, the very best thing you can do is just join my locals. Uh, add a, it's free to join, but if you uh, contribute five bucks a month, you get some extra perks. And it really, really, really helps me out. It is a place where I know we will not be censored and you get lots of cool perks. So more information is in the description below. That's all I've got for right now. I'll see you soon.